We're speaking with Hillel Fold, who recently wrote a column called American Jews Get Out Now. Why did you write a column called that? You know, since I'm a little kid, uh, having grandparents who survived Auschwitz, I've always struggled with the question, why didn't they get out, right? I mean, Nuremberg Laws. I mean, these guys, full-blown, like, anti-Semitism, mainstream society in Europe, the Jews just stuck around. And I always, like, I asked myself, what, like, why didn't they read the writing on the wall? I, what had to happen? And I never understood it. I always struggled with that. And then I look at America right now. You got full-blown pop artists, Kanye West, going full-blown anti-Semite. You got Saturday Night Live normalizing anti-Semitism. You got NBA players, full-blown anti-Semites. What has to happen? Jews being beaten up in the streets? Done. It's done. But what has to happen for the Jews to say, all right, enough is enough. This is not our home. Now, you know, we always grew up saying never again. Obviously, the Holocaust can never happen again. The truth is, it could never happen again because we have Israel. But American Jews, I think they have, they're, they're not looking at history. I think they're maybe ignoring, you know, what went on throughout the Jewish, you know, history from the Spanish Inquisition to the pogroms to the Holocaust. You know, we got too comfortable. So when you say, like, people are being beaten in the streets, are they being beaten in the streets? Like, where, where's that happening? Are you serious? You've never seen these videos of, of, of Hasidic Jews walking in Brooklyn? being beaten up in the middle of this. I mean, it's, 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 I see it pretty much every day on my Facebook feeds. Every day. So it's and, and, like yeah, I mean, to, I, literally last night, a friend of mine on, on Twitter, she said she was walking with her family in the street and some African-American came over and said, oh, sh we're going to black, we're going to kill all you Jews. And everyone stood around watching this thing, yelling in her face, cursing her kids and everything. People stood around watching. Nobody said a word. Nobody did a thing. The whole thing doesn't make any sense because, you know, we're, I mean, the Jews are like statistically non-existent. We're so small, right? Tw I mean, 20% of all Nobel Prizes were given to Jews. Do you know that? 20%. I mean, there's something remarkable about the Jewish people. I don't think anyone would debate that. We, you know, we survived and the Romans didn't and the, and the Greeks didn't and the Nazis didn't. We're here, right? Um, but there is this, I don't know. I mean, I can tell you my theory of why anti-Semitism exists, but there is this just historic thing that just keeps showing its ugly face every generation. And again, it's unfortunate that Jews forget history. I mean, look, look at Germany. You don't have to think about 300 years. I'm talking about Germany 80 years ago. I mean, they were comfortable until they weren't. So what has to happen? Like I asked my friends in the States, what has to happen? Is there an event that will happen that you'll say enough is enough? What has to happen? It's all happened. I don't know what they're waiting for. I, the outside world where I just moved from, people think Israel is just like totally under terrorism all the time and stuff like that. Is it safe for Jews to move here? First of all, I don't know if you know, but my older brother was murdered in a terrorist attack. So I, I, I know it firsthand, okay? I'm not... Every, every life that's lost is, is, a, is, a, is an entire world. Having said that, we have to look at the grand scheme of things. Take a step back. There has never been a 75 year period. Listen to this statistic, it's phenomenal. It's, 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 it's just fascinating. There has never been a 75 year period since the destruction of the temple that there were so few Jews killed in the world. So again, every life that's lost to terrorism is a horrible tragedy. But in the grand scheme of things, this country is defending us. Whereas there, we're at the mercy of everyone else. And we know how that turns out. So, you know, yeah, I think, I think it is significantly safer here. Give it, and I'm not belittling. There is terror, in, but, but in the grand scheme of things, it's, it's in our hands. This is our home. I heard someone say, in America, you can, you can succeed despite being a Jew. In Israel, you succeed because you're a Jew. And to me, that's, that's what it comes down to. And by the way, someone recently said to me, they moved to Israel. He said, not because I'm a Zionist, but because I'm a capitalist which is amazing because this is where it's all going on in terms of technology and innovation. So, you know, we're living the dream. It's never been this good for the Jewish people and I'm proud to live here. I, you know, I'm a big talker. My parents brought me here. I didn't make a decision. I want to believe that had he not brought me here, I would have come myself. But in America, it's scary. It's scary times. Well, those are all good reasons to get out of America. We've been speaking with Hillel Fold about his column, American Jews Get Out Now.